Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, uh, I send my condolences out. Australian cricket legends Rod Marsh and Shane Warren. The suggestion was to look at some highlights of theirs uh, in respect uh, of their amazing career and their lives. So, so, of course, my condolences go out uh, to their families. Uh, I'm sure these men lived great, full lives and uh, certainly became household names in the cricket world. I have a lot to learn about cricket. As a matter of fact, I've never even done a video learning about cricket. So if you know a great video for that, uh, please let me know down below. Uh, if you didn't know, I'm a huge baseball fan. It's been my number one sport since I was a kid. It's what I played the most. So there's my context. I know baseball and cricket are very different. They're not the same. So uh, hopefully I'll learn a little bit and, and see uh, what these guys were all about. Always a sad day for anyone passing away. But of course, uh, two sports legends to pass away, I believe in the same day. It's very odd. So here we go. Let's look at uh, Rod Marsh Clips is the first one. This will be linked down below. And then we will look at another one uh, with Shane. It'll be the pace bowler he was. So uh, things were looking quite rosy at that stage. Always nice for a wicket keeper to have uh, two fast bowlers like Lillian Thompson. What about Rodney Marsh and his skills as a keeper and an all-rounder? Rodney Marsh for me was my real hero in cricket because I was lucky that I saw his first test match in 70-71. Wow. He was then a little bit out of condition, uh, not in the best <laughs> shape, and uh, he was going to struggle with his fitness. But he really worked hard to get super fit. He worked on his game and England he became, as we know, one of the great wicketkeeper batsmen of all times. I fe felt for somebody to do what he did was a great example, not only to cricketers, but to any youngster really watching the game. So Rodney Marsh went on to become one of the all-time greats. Okay, here we go. We've got some highlights. Oh, oh nice a catch. catch. A beautiful catch by Marsh, wow. taking it almost out of Ian Chappell's hands. I doubt very much whether Ian Chappell will be very pleased about it, but relieved that Marshy managed to stick hold of it. So all three have fallen to Gilmore. Okay, so it came the off. The are moving away there. Greg falling for the trap. That was nice. Came off the, what's it called? Because I, I, it would be the bat in baseball, <laughs> what they're swinging with. Gary Gilmore, the successful bowler, coming in from the nursery end. Bowled a couple down the leg side. Is that him back uh, there? It is. Catch there by Rob Great, uh, really stretching to catch these. And I know how hard that was. I played first oh, base in baseball. Yes, and, <laughs> and uh, great catch. A very fine low catch indeed. So I, I can immediately appreciate good catches. That that's athleticism in baseball or cricket. That that's really harder than it looks and really essential, and right? Really <laughs> in, in the sport to be able to catch 13, and to make four, diving three. catches and stretching catches like that is always exciting. Definitely makes a highlight reel. Ooh, ooh. And a marvelous delivery that by Jeff Lawson. What a Wow, that really guy, look at the wind-up on that. Fine catch too by I don't know Rodney if they Marsh call it pitching or the pitch like they do in baseball, but the guy pitching it, for lack of a better term, really winding up like crazy. They swung him away oh, again. there's a big... Whoa! So a second six to Rodney Marsh, and we've waited five days to see the first. Now he's at two, one in each over, taking him past the 50 mark. Wow. Everyone was clapping. That means he did something right. <laughs> through, fine like shot. I said, I don't know the rules, guys. The I don't. Ball, nothing like but I know those are good hits. Impact. I don't even know if they call him a hit. But he's oh, smacking really. the ball out and looks nice to me. Clowned on the leg side this time. So successive boundaries to the left-handed Marsh. And this is very, very good. Cricket. Oh, he was a left, left-handed. Left-handed. Wow. Hello. Tossed up in the air, invited oh, the drive, he's hit it beautifully. Nice. Beautiful hit. So yet a third six. Used okay, so this guy could right hit. Rod Marsh that. knew how to swing and that thing, for sure. By a good 10 or 15 and, and could make some good well, catches. Me, well, that was, that was short but sweet, right? Uh, he had some really, really good plays featured there. Some amazing, beautiful hits. Uh, and, and as you can see, the comments here are all from... The last couple hours, right? Even though this video is older. So yeah, everyone's saying rest in peace, the goat, great fella. Condolences to the to the Marsh family, of course. I really look forward. This will be my springboard into learning about cricket very, very soon now. Uh, I'm very excited to uh, have seen this this footage here, especially older footage. I, you know, I love older footage of any sport. 
And uh, Radmarsh looked like he definitely knew what he was doing. You can see, by the way, the gentleman in the beginning was speaking of him, uh, that clearly Radmarsh was a very good fella, only a legend in the game. Okay, and now part two of the video. We have uh, a video from Crick now. Like the first one, this would be linked in the description down below so you can check it out further. Uh, this is from Shane Warren's top 10 wickets of his career. Rest in peace, Shane, and my condolences to his family as well. Uh, you can see the comments there that are all recent. So, But yeah, the description says that uh, he was one of the most successful leg spinner to have ever played the game. And uh, definitely an Australian legend. So uh, there you go. I mean, some, some big claims must have been extremely good. Let's see some highlights. Uh, I, I can't I mean, wait to see this. Shane Warne is the greatest spinner to have played cricket. The Australian legend is definitely the most successful leg spinner to have played the game. Wow. With the 708 wicket from 145 tests, the first player to reach the milestone of 700 wickets. Wow. He certainly has the numbers of an all-time great. The knowledge. Okay, so this guy's got some amazing statistics. Uh, best ever, right? If you're best ever in any statistics, then that he it was speaks for itself. Of a delivery, <laughs> guy was really, really good. Batsman's bat and pads and straight into the stumps made every one ball worth watching. Here are the Shane Vaughn's top 10 wickets of his career. So without knowing the rules, uh, you look at the way he's gripping the ball there. It looks like this guy knew how to put some spin on there because it looked like the ball was coming down almost at a curve already and then hitting the ground and kind of jutting in a certain direction. And the batter, or for lack of a better term, again, the guy trying to hit the ball, uh, obviously having a hard time. So I think this guy definitely, the whole leg spin term, uh, definitely knew how to spin the ball and number 10 trick trick the guy out right the beige ah! oh, wow. he's around his legs yes he's got him around his legs that's beautifully bowled Shane Warne rolling wrong and after wrong and then he throws one out oh. wide into the roll. oh look at that, that. see back. that's an absolute beauty how in the and world Prasad. how in the world did he do that that ball went over there behind the guy and bounce. Did you see that? What the? What the hell? It Number totally nine. changed directions. Wow. He's done in between his legs. Look at the way he. D oh my God! You saw that? Whoa! Instead of like, instead of throwing it down like this, or even at like that, he threw that like almost like this. And I don't know if that showed up well on the webcam. You're probably like, what the hell is this guy doing? <laughs> um, but you kind of get what I'm saying. That was a weird release. Okay, this guy really had some some tricks up his sleeve. Dang. Look at the movement on that ball. Dude, that's wild. Number eight. Ah! Nice bowling. Wow. Around his legs. That one's turned up the hill, maybe a little bit out of the footmarks, and the bowl has followed through, but it's the end of Michael Atherton in this in second innings. That'll end the chat. <laughs> it's a terrific delivery. We'll talk uh, about I'll be honest. on the ball. I'll be honest. Uh, seeing the way that this guy can deliver the ball like that, that's one of those, like, like in baseball, if you have a really good pitcher that just seems like a magician with the ball, you don't even want to go off to bat because you're like, you're either A, you're scared or nervous, or B, you're just like kind of nervous about like uh, you don't want to be embarrassed, like humiliated that you won't be able to hit the ball. <laughs> he seems like one of those Spinning guys, the like up the hill. just so good that shop, people don't even know what to think. Intimidating. You're intimidated by his skill, if that makes sense. Going for the sweep. Action on the ball. Dude, it's I can't like believe. There. It's I can't seven. believe the action on the ball. It's wild. <laughs> This guy is like a magician with that ball, I swear. Oh, beautiful ball. That's a wonderful delivery from Shane Warne. Clipping Dang. the top of off stump. That's he was absolutely fierce too, huh? exactly what the Australians needed. And this is the perfect leg spinner. The in drift, what, what it a puts tough an outside loss. leg stump. Yesterday. And it hits what a the top of, top of off. We thought this wicket might turn. Number six. Oh, look at that one. 
is. Beautiful bowling. So I'm assuming he's trying to hit those. I, I, is that what the wicks or wickets are? And, and the hitter is trying to hit the ball away and or defend those as well. That's what I'm gathering, but I could be wrong. It's turned a long way. Powell started easier now for Sarwan, now that he's got... Uh, Jeez. Number five. Ah! Dude, I, I will never know how he's what doing. What a wicket that is! He's he really does have a bogey with this test how century. Is he he that? Playing well enough to get a oh test my century. God. That one spun a long way. Number four. That guy's delivery, man, is is legendary. Legendary. Wow. Oh man. This is fun, I gotta admit. This is this is intriguing. Oh, it's fantastic. There's a big great uh, suggestion from you guys. Because this this is getting me into cricket right now. I gotta admit it. I'm gonna have to learn more a lot more. Number three in Test cricket in England for Shane Warne. Wow. And he's done it. Snuck it right by him. He started off with and that's all it needed. Well, Look at that. Jeez. Two and a half feet. Gadding can't believe his eyes. Gadding I can't believe my eyes. Every time I see this the guy throw the ball. The ball. Well outside it's amazing. And Number two. The movement he gets on that ball is just <laughs> wicked. Oh, yes. Wicked. <laughs> wow. It did side and the, the, every time the, the hitters are like, they're like, what the hell just happened? What? <laughs> oh, man, that's rich. Their reaction, man. They're either shocked or like, or they're pissed like, you son of a gun, you know? Last ball of a day's play. Wow. Impressive. Absolutely brilliant from Shane Warne. Brilliant is right. Totally brilliant. I don't. Nowhere. I don't know how he's doing this. I, I'm amazed. I'm, le I'm legitimately Warren. amazed. That is the top ten wickets of of Shane Warren there. To be fair, his highlights were a lot more clear and better to see uh, than Rod Marsh. Uh, but both of them legends in their own right. Uh, gotta say, I I'm blown away blown away by the highlights of this guy the the movement on that ball it, it is a sight to see it is absolutely incredible i'm very intrigued now to learn more about cricket so uh, if you guys want to help me out in the comments down there with some videos uh, to get me up to speed that you would like me to see on the channel uh, please tell me down below uh, my respects and my condolences to their families wow what legends what legends these guys were and uh, what great introduction into uh, what seems like a very interesting sport. Now, I'm not going to say it's my like favorite sport of all time. I'm a baseball guy, and I'm probably going to stick to it, uh, but I really do want to learn about this. And I tell you what, it, it definitely has some fascinating highlights. I will say that. So yeah, guys, uh, in closing, any other comments you want to leave below, go ahead. Uh, maybe tell me your favorite highlights uh, of these guys down below that you remember, or maybe you got to meet these gentlemen in person. Uh, long ago. Uh, I'd love to hear about it. Uh, make sure to pump this video up with a like. It will help it out. Subscribe. We're so close to 50k. I do appreciate you guys. Check out that description for these two videos that will be linked uh, down there. That being said, my name is Ian. You're watching IW Rocker. Until next time, guys. Catch you later.